Hi chaps, hey, just want to discuss these Chinese um, made diesel tanks for the uh, diesel heaters. Um, <laughs> I have to say they're advertised as an 8 litre tank, but uh, if you look at it you'll see uh, that it's never ever going to be 8 litres, but they're advertised as that, so the description is completely wrong. Here we have a 5 litre Tesco screen wash, and we look at the diameter the, the thickness of the the plastic bottle and the the uh the chinese one you know the stainless steel one we can see that uh it is much uh, it's wider and of course don't forget we're we're hard up against the the uh the shed wall here and there is a slight amount of a uh, uh, metal in behind there so uh, you know that makes it as an actual fact it makes it a little worse if you look at the the width the width is marginally smaller um, with the 5 litre but the height is approximately the same anyway I decided this morning to do a wee check so I had my pump my siphon pump which went right from the top to the very very bottom which is considerably higher than the the low point on the gauge so anyway I siphoned it out and it came to about where my finger is there, just slightly below the the, the bend in the uh, plastic. Uh, so I reckoned it was about uh, about f maybe five point optimistically about five point one five point two liters that came out of this. So this is not an eight liter tank by any means. Uh, so I have actually complained to the seller on eBay regarding about whether or not I'll ever ever hear anything back from that seller is another story. Uh, but I'd like to just make it aware to people that if they're buying these uh, supposed 8 litre tanks, they're not, they're only 5, or approximately 5. And don't forget, um, what I did was I had it more or less right to the brim, right? And of course, when you are normally running these, uh, the, the level that you're, the usable level is between there and there. Because once the level drops to that, it will start to draw in air, obviously. So you're losing that wee bit at the bottom and you're using, losing that wee bit at the top. So I reckon it's only about four and a half litres usable fuel in these things. Now, obviously I bring it, I brim it, so that would make it better, but if you were just taking it to that level, it's only about four and a half litres. So it's a bit of a rip-off. So as I say, I've complained to seller. Probably never hear anything right enough, but uh, nah, it's a bit, it's a bit annoying because you're actually filling it up more often than you would, you would with the uh, I mean, there's the, the original one that was in. It was actually inside the shed, actually, that. So, uh, there's a wee bit of smell of kerosene from it, from the bleed. Uh, you know, as you, as you stopped using the, 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 the diesel heater, you'd get fumes coming out of the, uh, the, the vent on the top of the cap. So, uh, just not nice inside. But this, that admittedly cured what, cured what I was trying to do. But uh, I've got to now fill it up twice as often. Which is a bit of a pain, especially if I've left it on. I maybe want to keep it, keep it on overnight if we've got a really, really frosty, frosty night and keep this place warm. It could, you, it could actually, depend, so long, you know, it, it, it's, it's fair enough if I filled it up. But if I hadn't filled it up, uh, it would be really quite low and possibly start to pull air and shut down. There you go. So I'll let you know. Uh, so just keep your eye on that and uh, uh, don't go rushing out buying these things thinking you're going to get eight litres because you're not. Okay, no. Thank you. Take care, everyone.